students on the campus of Waynesburg University know who Addie Knetzer is. After having just finished her senior season with the women's basketball team, Addie stands at the top of the program's all-time rebounding list and near the top in all-time scoring. For years, she has dominated as one of the President's Athletic Conference's best players, something that didn't initially seem like it would be the case when she first got to Waynesburg. My name's Matthew Schinkel. And I'm Mike Capelli. And this is the story of Addie Knetzer. My name is Sam Jones. I'm the head women's basketball coach here at Waynesburg University. I have just finished my 10th season here at Waynesburg, which seems unreal to me. Addie's one of my favorite um, kind of stories because if you were to look at her freshman year and then tell me her ending stats for her career, uh, I would have laughed in your face. Um, and I think she probably would have too. Uh, honestly, at the time, her basketball game wasn't super standout-ish, but what was standout-ish was her sheer athleticism. I mean, she was the best female athlete that I had seen or recruited at this point in my time here, for sure. Just like sheer athleticism. And she had skill, don't get me wrong, but it was, it was the athleticism that got me pretty excited. I was terrible. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I huh. I was like a late bloomer. Like, I was terrible up until, like, junior year of high school. Uh -huh. And I never played in AAU. I never went to any camps or clubs. So I was kind of like this undiscovered basketball player. Flash forward to four years later, and it's a different story. The only woman in the history of Waynesburg women's basketball to have over 1,000 rebounds. She only had, like, 190 or 185 her freshman year. Over 1,600 points, second leading score in the history of the school. She only had 249 points her freshman year, which only, that's not, not none, yeah. but when you end up with 1,600, that's, that's an only. <laughs> Addie doesn't just stick out as a star on the court. She is a two-sport athlete and is a huge part of the women's track and field team. Competing in the throwing events, Addie has been named the field MVP in the PAC for three years in a row tying the PAC record. Head coach Michelle Cross sees plenty of great qualities in Knetzer, which has helped make her a captain on the team. Things that have stuck out to me is that um, she is extremely driven to find excellence in everything that she does. Um, she really struggles to do something just to do it. Like if she's going to do it she wants to be the best that she can possibly be and she wants to beat a bunch of people around her um, as well and you see that. It didn't really hit me that it was a big deal until Falva was like you're tied with one person in history to be a three-time MVP. He's like next year you could be the fourth yeah. which is like the goat or whatever. And yeah. I, I never really thought about it. I was like oh it's cool just you know another award but I mean what's really motivating for me like this year um, I really want to go back to nationals so that's something that's a huge motivator whereas last year I just wanted to get to nationals and experience it for the first time. I have bigger goals now. I want to do better at nationals. I don't just want to go back. Like I want to get something accomplished while I'm there. Mm -hmm. so. With Addie doing two sports that often coincide at the end of the season, like basketball and track, it has led to a unique situation with the two head coaches sharing Addie on different days, keeping them in constant communication with each other and Addie. Um, yeah, he, <laughs> he did something for us that I don't know that very many coaches would be willing to do because um, this would have been potentially literally right in the middle of his season if they had moved on to another game yeah. then our pack indoor championship yeah. <laughs> would have fallen right in between those two games and he was willing to come and work with us and let let her come up and throw for us and he definitely does not have to do that and neither does she yeah. so that just goes to show you the flexibility that we use, you know, between all three of us. But he's incredibly understanding. I think we both understand that a happy Addy equals <laughs> a better performance for both of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, um, yeah, he definitely works very well with her. I'm really thankful that I got to play college sports in general, but to do both of them because I didn't start getting recruited for anything until probably the beginning of my senior year or the summer going into my senior year I think like in the spring I got some random letter for track because like I had gone to states my sophomore year I think mm -hmm. I think it was my sophomore year I went yeah sophomore junior and senior and I did better in shot put as the years went on um, and then like 
I was getting recruited for track and field and the whole time I was like oh I love basketball way more than I love track you know I wish I could do basketball and it just didn't seem like anything was going to happen and then I talked to coach Jones at Waynesburg and then I talked to Derubo and so I was like oh wow I can do both and so that was like a huge motivation for me to go to D3 I was like well if I can go to Division 3 and do both sports I'm definitely going to do that versus going D2 or D1 for track. For WCYJFM, I'm Matthew Schinkel and I'm Mike Capelli.